Hey guys, Sickomania here again. Um, super excited. Uh, I built a few things today and I just wanted to touch bases real quick with you guys and uh, basically show you guys what I did and uh, uh, basically uh, my thought process behind it. Uh, one quick thing, uh, all the stuff that you see that's behind this fish tank is going to be gone this week so I'm super stoked to have all that space back. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that area, if I'm going to add tanks. I know i got to put a couple shelves back here for uh, basically the woman's couponing. Uh, she does stockpiling, as you can see. But uh, she's going to need some more room for all that. Um, so uh, I'll go ahead and jump in what I've done so far. Um, I know you guys saw that I added a uh, water supply. Um, I also added a 55-gallon uh, drum. And... Uh, the reason I did this is uh, basically winter time, I'll go ahead and step back here, <clears throat> in the winter time this water is ice cold. It's even ice cold right now and uh, putting that water straight into the tank basically uh, lowers my degrees more than 10 degrees sometimes. Uh, fresh water, it's okay to go about 10 max. Salt water, you know, 1 or 2 degrees. You, you're not even supposed to do that. So uh, with with fresh water, I don't really want to affect my fish at all. So uh, my plan was is I need to come up with a way to basically store water that's not coming straight out of the tap. So what I did is I uh, went ahead and installed my 55 gallon drum here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. Uh, I got this at Big R for like 30 bucks. And uh, I cut a little hole in here and get in there. Uh, basically, I used to have a pump that was hooked to the uh, ball valve right here on the inside, and it, it would suck completely all the water out. <clears throat> but basically, I'll go ahead and uh, throw in about a two 200 watt heater in here, and uh, I'll be able to have this water at a temperature that's uh, the same as the tanks. And uh, instead of uh, adding cold water in, I'll be able to add 50 gallons of uh, basically already uh, room temperature water. I'll be able to either let this water sit for a week. I won't have to use any conditioner because uh, chlorine evaporates. But uh, I got such high concentrated uh, conditioner. Uh, what would it be? Uh, two, four, 2.5 milliliters would treat this so uh, not a lot of uh, a lot a lot a lot of water conditioner so I'll just go ahead and treat it anyway but uh, yeah I kind of like this uh, it's out of the way and uh, it works really good so I'll also have uh, two more of these barrels for the hot tub and I'll probably just go ahead and set those up front or back on this side one will have salt water one will have salt water uh, I'll show you guys uh, once I get down to that, a special design that uh, I'll be able to do. Uh, looks like I've, I've got a tank that's about ready to overflow. I shut my pump off today, and uh, usually when you do that, um, and it fires back on, it'll clean itself and become more powerful. So I'll go ahead and turn that down. Looks like it's starting to drop back down. Good catch. Nice. Um, Okay, so what else have I done? Oh, I moved the dehumidifier. So, you guys can see that I have it up there. Uh, the reason I did this is, I was trying to figure out, I'm not having much luck with this dehumidifier. It looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and purchase another one and uh, either sell this one or figure out something to do with it. But, uh, there's a condenser in the back that uh, basically uh, freezes and uh, the colder it is inside the garage, the less efficient these things run. And uh, this unit at 60 degrees, uh, that uh, condenser starts freezing. And uh, in the back of it, it was this huge, massive icicle, you know, and it's just this single copper pipe, you know, and this thing's massive. And uh, anytime it gets around 60 degrees, that thing will freeze and uh, basically not work. Um, I've had this thing running for about a week and a half, maybe even two weeks almost, and it hasn't even filled up the tray. Never seen that before. So what I did was I went ahead and 
moved it up off the ground. It was down there. The thermostat on this thing was saying it was 38 degrees, which is impossible. There's no way it's 38 degrees over here. So over here, my thermostat's uh, thermometer is saying it's 70 degrees over here. So since I moved it up there, it has been reading about 56 or 58 degrees. Let me hop up here and see basically what that says. Let's see, 64, sweet. So it's 64, and uh, I went ahead and set the humidity at 59, 58. So the reason why uh, I put it up here is basically to make it run more efficient. Um, I also did another little modification. Um, I noticed one of you guys posted that uh, you get a lot of lint or the water comes out dirty. Um, I got a guy that owns uh, Oasis in Redmond. Uh, he runs his dehumidifiers in his store and basically drips his water right back into his salt water um, and into his koi pond there. Um, I ain't too concerned. I seen that when this thing was half full, there wasn't a speck of dirt in there, so this thing's got a nice filter on it. Water comes out pretty clean. But uh, basically what I did is uh, I took uh, the box that's in there and uh, hooked up to it. And uh, basically instead of filling a bucket up now, I'll uh, be hopefully, it's got to fill up halfway before it'll start draining into this pipe. But hopefully we'll get a constant drip of water going back into the system and I'm I'm really hoping that this thing's going to start working now. Um, if it doesn't start working I'm going to have to figure out something else but uh, we'll see if that works. So I was real stoked about that install. I think that turned out real nice and clean. Um, looks really good. It's it's in there rock solid. ain't going nowhere. So we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. Anything else? 